When you're walking in public and you got something like this on your head, there is not one person that's not, not looking at you. Everybody sees you and everybody's staring. People look at me like a freak. They don't see a regular man trying to make it. They see a monster, they see something ugly, somebody that's deformed. They don't see anything but that. About 14 years ago, I was robbed, and I got hit over the head with a two by four. And they created a pinched nerve. It was like the size of a BB, so I never went to a doctor to find out what was going on with it. And uh, he told me it was a lipoma tumor. You could take care of it right now. You can take care of it two years from now. It doesn't matter. It will not kill you. I didn't want to take the time to stop any income coming in to get rid of it. And I should have. I should have. This lump, it caused me a lot of migraines. It gives me a lot of pressure in my head. Sometimes it gives me to the point where, where excruciating pain to where I, I, I start crying. It's gonna definitely get bigger. I'm, I'm just afraid that one day I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm and I'm just terrified to leave my family alone. <laughs> I do a lot of landscaping, carpentry, remodeling. When I would put my hard hat on, nobody really noticed it up until about four years ago. And this is the hard hat that I usually use to work. And it has an adjuster right here. Um, I put it on like this and I adjust it right here, but it won't stay, it won't stay tight enough to, to stay on my head when I bend over. Every time I go to a job site, that's what the main concern is. And without this, I can't work on there. Because of this bump, I, I haven't had a consistent job for about four years. I can't even count how many jobs I've been turned down for because of this lump, not being able to have a job. Just more, maybe a lot of depression, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, get more. In that little square, yeah. <laughs> Here goes some more. Miranda's my beautiful wife and uh, we have a beautiful little girl named Nevea. When I first met her, I was lost. If I hadn't met her, I, I don't think I don't think I don't think I'd be where I'm at today. <laughs> My worry is that one day she's gonna figure out that I'm not good enough for her. She's gonna find somebody that's a lot handsomer and better with no lump on their head. <laughs> 